Hello and welcome to Azure Wala YouTube channel. We are in part 55 of Microsoft Certified Associate series. So far we have completed 93 questions in previous videos. Let's see question number 94. You have an Azure subscription that contains a user named user1 and the resources shown in following table. So we do have one resource group rg1 one network interface which is network interface one and one network security group which is nsg1 nsg1 is associated to network interface user one has role assigned for network security group is shown in following table so effective permissions for network security groups are like this User1 is contributor on the network security group. User1 is reader on the subscription, therefore can read everything in entire subscription. And, uh, and user1 is having a storage account contributor role assigned on the resource groups, means RG1. Let's understand user1 role assignment by this diagram. So you, user1 has reader role on subscription. That means it can read uh, everything under the resource group 1 for the NSG1, for any storage and for even a network interface. So all everywhere the reader role is there applicable because it is on the subscription level. Then uh, user1 has storage account contributor role means can create and manage the storage account therefore it will be applicable here as the contributor role on the storage account further user one has the contributor role on network security group therefore can easily manage the network security as a contributor back to the question statement one user1 can create storage account in resource group1 yes user1 has the storage account contributor role assigned to resource group1 therefore user can create and manage storage account in resource group1 therefore answer is yes statement 2 user1 can modify dns settings of network interface1 on the network interface one effective uh, role for the user one is reader role only therefore a user can read only on the network interface cannot modify any settings or DNS setting as well on the network interface statement 3 user one can create an inbound security rule to filter inbound traffic to network interface one so traffic is basically filtered by NSG or network security group for the network interface and over the network interface or over the network security group user one has the permission as a contributor therefore user one can manage the network security group inbound and outbound rules having this permission as contributor therefore the answer for this statement is yes i hope this video was informative for you please hit the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell notification icon thank you for watching see you in next video